All right, our very first new vocabulary. So our very first word we have hello, which literally means good day. We're going to say bonjour. Bonjour. Yes, we have to say the R. It is a careful letter. Bonjour. It literally means good day. Literally, all we did was we took the word for good, bon, and the word for day, jour, and we smashed them together. Good day, easy peasy. However, we normally translate it as hello. So the reason we, that we do that is because it's our most common formal greeting. So um, probably a vast majority of the time, this is probably going to be the greeting that you're going to use. And it's typically the safest one. If you're not sure what to say, bonjour is almost always going to be correct. If you're going to say good evening, okay, then we're going to switch to bonsoir. Bonsoir. So we have both that R, careful letter, at the end of our word, bonsoir. But we also have that O-I making that wa sound, soir. Bonsoir. So if bonjour was bon plus jour, I meant good day, bon plus soir, good evening, soir therefore means evening. We have to switch in the evening. Okay, You can't say bonjour in the evening time or the night time. Uh, it'd be like if it's 9 p.m. and someone walks up to you and says, hey, good morning. It's kind of weird. It doesn't seem right. We typically flip eh, somewhere around dinner, so around like 6 p.m. or so. Uh, no one's really going to like freak out and be like looking at their watches or anything like that. Um, it, it's a pretty uh, nebulous switch. It's not really a very specific point in time. Um, but, eh, you know, you'll generally hear it around you. People will start flipping over. Uh, if you're not really sure, if it's kind of around the time where people start switching and you're not sure if it really is late enough or not, um, probably no one's going to care, to be completely honest. Like, if you use one and the other person's like, oh, I would have used the other, nobody's going to think anything of it. Um, if you're really, really uncertain, you can always just wait, okay? Uh, whatever French person you're talking to, let them start off with a greeting, and then just repeat whichever one they say. Bonsoir is also a formal greeting. So bonjour and bonsoir are both formal. They differentiate in the time of day that we use them. So good day, good evening. Our word for hi is salut. Salut. So remember, T is not a careful letter, so we're not going to say it. Salut. Salut can be used at any time of the day. It doesn't matter if it's day, evening, middle of the night, doesn't matter. The trick is that salut is informal only. So unlike bonjour, bonsoir, where it was about time of day, salut is about to whom you're speaking. So let's take another uh, more in-depth look, really, at the formal versus informal, see if we can figure that out a little bit more. Oops, there we go. All right, so French culture has a very, very strong differentiation between formal and informal. Um, it's very important that whenever you're in a situation, you're able to identify, should I speak to this person formally or informally? Because it will change a large number of things that you uh, are going to be able to say. It changes which vocabulary you can use. It even changes some of your grammar rules. The key is... Who are you speaking to? Figure out who you're talking to, and then figure out what your relationship is with that person, and then that will tell you if you should be speaking formally or informally. So if you're speaking informally, you're speaking to people who are within your social circle. Okay, so you're speaking to family members. You're speaking to a good friend. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be your very best friend, though you would certainly speak to them informally as well. Um, but someone who you would consider a pretty good friend, at least. Uh, and anyone who's on your quote-unquote social level, which in France, in France is typically determined by age. So if they're about your age or younger. So like no one's going to freak out. Like say that you're 13 and you speak informally to a 14-year-old. Whatever, close enough. 
Um, but you wouldn't want to speak informally to, say, a 20-year-old that you don't know. When we're speaking formally, okay, we're showing extra respect, quote-unquote. Okay? So we're going to use that with people who require that kind of extra respect. Okay, so if they're an authority figure over you, so like one of your teachers. Um, if it's a famous person, so like you get to meet your favorite singer or something like that, um, then you want to show respect to them. You're also going to show extra respect in a business situation. So anytime somebody in the conversation is at work. Uh, so probably most commonly for you, this would be like when you're in a store. So uh, like you're buying things at a store, you're checking out, and the cashier is talking to you. You want to speak to that person formally to show respect for the fact that they're at their workplace. And then finally, you're going to speak formally to anyone substantially older than you. Okay, so um, this is kind of the opposite of that on your social level. So these people are considered to be quote unquote above your social level. So you want to show respect to them. Okay? Again, the key here is substantially. Okay? If you don't know them, then you probably don't know how old they are. Okay? Take your very best guess. Okay? But obviously if you're talking to like, you know, somebody in a nursing home who you don't know, they're clearly going to be older than you. Pretty easy to figure out that you need to speak formally to them.